Hey guys, it's Kayla, Happy Vegan. Um, so I did some more research on aquagenic puritis, and um, I still get a bunch of questions about it, so I wanted to do more research that maybe I'd done and forgotten, or just haven't done. So I come up with a few things that either I didn't remember, because it's been so long, honestly, since I read about it, or maybe new information. So, to those who don't know, aquagenic puritis is the condition in which contact with water of any temperature, some people it's hot, some people it's cold, causes intense itching, but there's no visible marks on the skin. So imagine, oh, I can't, you can't even, you can't even put this on anything else. I can't say, you know, imagine a thousand mosquito bites, but you can't see them. No, it's, it's worse than that. Sorry. <laughs> so technically, I saw that it's an allergy. Hmm. Maybe. I honestly don't know. Um, the cause is still unknown. They have no idea what causes it. They've tried antihistamines, UBV phototherapy, and various medications, but with varying success. Uh, so some people, the phototherapy may help, some it doesn't. Some antihistamines help, some it doesn't. There's no actual cure or treatment that works for everyone. Um, they did recommend to wear cotton clothes because it helps absorb the absorb sweat and keep it away from your skin. Mine uh, was really bad on my legs. So like, if I wear jeans and then from my knee down, if I'm outside working and sweating, my shins would itch. So they recommend if you wear cotton, it'll help keep the moisture away from your skin. So some of them recommend, this is what I read, some of them recommend tanning. But then the same paragraph said, oh, but don't tan too much because it's bad for you. And um, they're talking about like, tanning beds specifically. But don't tan too much because it's bad for you. It can cause skin cancer. But tanning will help the itching. Um, if anyone's ever had this, they're 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 okay with it. They're <laughs> it's that bad. We're willing to go burn ourselves in a tanning bed. We'll go fry ourselves if that's helping. So that's up to you. You can try it. When I did go to the tanning bed, I think it did help. Or if I would actually get burnt like laying out, it would help. But I don't. I don't want to get burnt, I you know. Wear sunscreen, protect it from the harmful rays. So get sun, but don't get burnt. Um, somewhere I read that some people have tried that it's worked for them. It's increasing their salt intake. I have no idea how that works. Of course, I don't know how any of this works, really. But I wouldn't try it, personally. With all the other issues you get with increasing your salt, I'm not going to try increasing salt to stop my legs from itching. At least I'm alive this way. And then I have um, some other testing that was done. And they were bringing in psychiatrists constantly because they thought that people had mental disorders. Is that why they were itching and scratching? And I was like, I do not. Or, well, I mean, I might, but not with this. This is not this is not a mental thing while I'm itching. It's, it's water. I'm allergic to water. Now I just sound crazy. That's okay. You're not crazy, I promise in this aspect. You may be other ways. So what I did that worked, and actually the other day, that's why I thought about doing this again, um, the other day my left arm started to itch just very slightly and I was like staring at it. I'm like, is there a bug bite? What's going on? And then it went away. It was nothing like before. Normally my arms wouldn't itch. That was a last case thing. When my legs were so bad then my arms would start. So my left arm itched a little, I just like looked at it. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, so what is stuff I did that, um, shoot, I, I'm not sure where that video was made. It was, I know it was over a year ago, so it's been a fantastic year, kind of. Um, I cut out meat completely. So actually, almost two years ago now, I stopped eating meat and just one day quit. And it wasn't trying to fix this. I had given up. I would said, I'm just going to itch forever. I'm just going to be allergic to water and deal with it. But I cut out meat for health reasons. And it actually stopped itching. <laughs> so I was like, ah, I might be onto something. So in the process of me going vegan, so I've cut out meat completely. Dairy's absolute minimum. I don't drink milk. I don't eat cheese. If there's cheese in something, that's where I'm still consuming it. But it's less and less every month. 
so dairy was is reduced to an absolute minimum. Um, I've had a lot of people say they cut it out completely, and that helped tremendously. I would recommend cutting them both out completely. The vegan diet is arguably the best diet there is out there, so that's what we're heading towards. So I would cut them out completely, and also I drink a lot more water than I used to. Whether that actually has anything to do with it or not, um, I just want to put out things I've changed, so, you know, if you can try it and it'll help you, that's fantastic. This is something horrible to suffer from, and it is suffering. It's not just, oh, this, no, it, it's horrible. It sucks. So, yeah, I drink a lot more water than I used to. Like, easily, well, I really went from drinking no water, um, just soda, soda, juice, but now, um, cut soda way back, and I, like, force myself to drink water. I don't like water. I'll put lemon juice in it, I'll put slices of cucumber in it, slices of fruit, well, like, infuse it, but, ugh, I just don't like water. <laughs> so, um, I know it kind of sounds counter, counterproductive, but add water, where I'm, a, I'm allergic to water, so let me add water. Well, I don't know. Maybe being on the inside, it's helping. You know, the underside of your skin is getting that much water. Maybe the skin isn't hydrated enough and it's trying to absorb the water in the shower. I don't know. I have no, no at all scientific way of how that works. But these are things I've tried. Cut out meat, cut out dairy, drink lots and lots of water. Now, during that, I guess... You can see I've already, I've cut out a lot of fat too, and that wasn't really, it's not something I've thought about, it wasn't really a plan, it was just eat healthier, and with eating healthier, it took out a lot of oil, a lot of fat. Still eat, I still eat fats, um, but nothing compared to what I used to. So, I just wanted to update you guys, let me know how you've been, let me know if any of this has worked for any of you, um, you know, I'm certainly going to keep sharing this as long as it works for me and help as many of you as I can. So give me feedback. Let me know if it's helping and have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.